During this time of the year, you typically hear the sound of bells ringing when you walk into your local grocery store, maybe at the mall, but the Salvation Army's Red Kettle campaign is facing a challenge this year. A month ago, the Kissimmee Salvation Army was set on fire by a man who had previously received services there. That fire severely damaged the building, its kitchen and food pantry, and a number of those iconic red kettles. And those kettles do so much good to raise money for the organization to help with feeding programs, housing, and natural disasters. So to give you an idea, funds raised in 2022 supported services for nearly 24 million people living in the United States. That's 14 percent of all Americans. Tonight, News 6's Ezzy Castro sits down with the president of the Rotary Club in Orlando on their century-long effort to get results for the campaign. That's all new at 5.30. Our club alone and our service has raised over $100,000 standing in front of bells, you know, representing. And, and, it, and it's so cool because when you're involved with something like Rotary, yeah. the badge says it all. You know, I get to stand here and take credit for all these people who have come before. You know, I mean, back to, to you know, 1920, we've been doing this. And, and you know, it's hard to get your arms around that kind of magnitude. My little mind went, wow, somebody in the 1920s from the Rotary Club of Orlando said, hey, we got to partner up with the Salvation Army. Yeah. Older than my grandparents. I, yeah. yeah, I don't even want to talk about my age. But anyway, like, yeah. yeah, that's exactly what comes to mind. And, um, and again, I mean, you're out here getting results. And when you see folks come in, they put a dollar, they put 20 bucks. I mean, I'm sure, I mean, during this time of year, it's an amazing feeling, I'm sure. It's a great feeling. Yeah. And, and so often people will come up and tell us a story. Yeah. how the Salvation Army or Rotary affected their lives. You know, we'll have old people come up and say, yeah, I was a Rotary scholar, and I just want to give something back. Thank you. And, and Or yeah. somebody who was in a very tough time, yeah. and, and they weathered the storm through one of these organizations. And, you know, it's a couple bucks of change out of your pocket. I love what you said. You said it's not just about the cash, but there are stories in that bucket. Oh, there's so many yeah. stories. So many stories. I mean. Yeah. If you've had a chance to be at a downtown campus, I mean, you walk through and you see the volume of, of humanity that's in a tough place. And, yeah. and we know going through COVID that people who never were in this kind of condition were forced into this condition. Yeah. And Salvation Army has always been there, setting up tents, feeding people, showers. I mean, all this kind of stuff you never, ever think about from a few bucks dropped in a bucket. The fact that it's 104 years, that is just simply amazing, yeah. the partnership with the Salvation Army. So well, we're very happy to be yeah. a part of that. And, and But you know, there's no two organizations that are more bulletproof. I mean, you know, you can give with confidence That's right. that it's always going to great places. I mean, all these people here, everybody are volunteers. Yeah. And you know, we take that little bit of money and turn it into a great big thing. Awesome. All right, so if you guys do see a red kettle, you got a penny, 10 cents, whatever it is. If you want to give, go ahead and donate. In Orlando, Ezzy Castro, getting results, you say.